Hello, folks. I am uh, now at a point here where I am ready uh, to show you infinite ammo. I was able to achieve that uh, while working on something else. So uh, we can now finally put uh, our infinite ammo. Did I do infinite coins online yet? I think I might have stopped because it became so impractical after I gained like 10,000 from opening the first chest. But um, yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to let the uh, client boot up here so I can get into this thing. What I ended up doing uh, while this is loading to achieve infinite ammo uh, is uh, to edit the assembly instructions in the game. So if I uh, go ahead and log in here, there we go. All right, so um, let's get rid of this music. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so here I have uh, the static link thing, uh, so the electricity spell um, equipped. If I zap, my mana goes down. And we don't want that. If I switch to my handgun... I have ammo, but of course it's a finite amount of ammo. Right, so that goes down, and I want infinite of uh, both of those things. Let's start with man. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, go down here to cheat engine, which is running. I'm going to go ahead and attach it to our process. Uh, okay, no, that's not necessary. No, that's not necessary either. So let's do a new scan, and our first scan will be for 100, because that is the current value of our mana. Now, we're going to use up some of our mana, enough that it will um, take a while to regenerate, so we don't miss it. Now we will scan for a decreased value compared to the first one, and we're getting closer. I'm just going to keep hitting this while it is refreshing. You can see we're down to 89 results. Uh, we can see this is clearly part of the mana uh, uh, pool of uh, memory addresses. Uh, and I'm going to ins hold on. I'm going to find out what accesses this address. And yes, I want to attach a debugger to the process. So this is not uh, the uh, originating address. This is just along the path, so this isn't what we want. And uh, the reason I know that is because all we have here is just a mem move, right? So this is all just part of the same process. All right, so now we want to scan for another exact value because we're back to 100, and we're going to compare this to the first scan. And now we're down to 46. Let's do a little bit more zapping and zapping and zapping and zapping. All right. And we have some here that are obviously the same. Let's see. Let's see. Change the value. That's not going to get us anywhere because they're all changed. We want one uh, that is a smaller than 99 compared to the first scan. And go. Okay. Now we're down to only four addresses, and all of them are ticking up with our mana. So these are the four addresses that must be associated with the uh, player's mana pool. So let's start at the bottom now and inspect this address and that's not it either nope here we go uh, we have found a function game logic player get mana and this assembly instruction is a move eax ecx and then plus this hex value here show this in the disassembler and now we can see our opcode there and we can simply edit this right so if we change this and let's say we add 00, zero instead of bc uh generated code is two bytes long but the opcode is six bytes long do we want to replace this with in uh with yes we do want to replace this with okay now you can see the value of our mana has changed to some absurdly large number and if we zap, zap, zap all we want to our heart's content, we can see 
We will never run out of mana. It is eternal. It is forever. I'm just I'm just waiting to see if it runs out. It, it never does. Let's go back to our um, our values here, so you can see uh, some of the values are changing as we zap, right? But two of them are not. They are static. And the two that are changing, you can see, are changing back and forth between 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. So essentially what's happening is we have a mana pool here, uh, and it's simply not decreasing, right? It is regenerating as fast as we are using it. Now this obviously does not apply to our firearms, right? They have a separate thing here entirely. But we can do something similar with that also by editing our assembly instructions. We have 15 bullets in the gun now, so let's do our first scan. We're going to compare this to the next scan, and we're going to scan for 14 because we're about to fire another bullet. And so next scan that, and we're down to uh, three, but of course now one of them uh, incremented there while we were at it, so really we're at two. And find out what and it's these. Uh, here we go. Game logic player get loaded ammo. So this is another move. This is EAX, EAX 1C. And if I edit this to also be uh, zero, 00, I suppose. Uh, yes, we can see our ammo count has also increased to an absurd amount, and I can let me switch to my uh, AK because that's a little bit. I apologize for the loudness. So infinite ammo has been achieved. Now, this, uh, as I've been testing this, oh. You know, it's really cool that, oops, really cool how there's a reflection here. Yeah, I just noticed that when I was down here just now. Reflection on the walls, that's really neat. Uh, anyway, so um, this does not apply to every variable because I discovered this while I was testing, uh, sorry, I'm trying to get myself infinite health for the unbearable revenge quest, uh, but I figured, you know, since I was able to achieve the infinite ammo part of our objective, uh, 